In just one week from today, Chicago public schools could be empty. Teachers are still working with the city to work out a last minute deal before they strike. CBS 2's Mugo Adigwe is live in the newsroom to explain the holdup. What's the latest, Mugo? Good morning. Well, teachers have said they need smaller class sizes. And this morning, we spoke with C CPS CEO Dr. Janice Jackson about that concern. She says they do have a proposal in place to address overcrowding in classrooms. In the last contract, we committed to doing that in our primary grades, uh, K through two. And now with this new offer, we have agreed to extend that and it uh, comes out to about $10 million in additional funding. On the other hand, students and teachers from across the city gathered at Simeon Career Academy yesterday. There was also one counter protester who showed up with a bright green sign that read, take the deal. We know the city is offering the teachers a raise. We're talking a 16% pay raise over a five-year contract. But teachers propose a 15% pay raise over three years. They also say it's not just about money. How can I teach them? The way that I need to teach them, if the uh, classes are overcrowded, parents, we need your support. CTU cares about your children. Support them. Oh, something else to note, teachers also say they want more nurses, librarians, and uh, counselors, and they want it written into a contract. Dr. Janet says it's been addressed in a recent budget. Again, a possible strike is could take place, rather, in just seven days. We're live in the newsroom. Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.